Students here become friends, they hang out with each other, the families become friends, there's this sense of larger community. It's just, a, well, it's often been said that Watershed's like a one big family, and I think that's kind of an overused cliche, but I think it's true uh, also in this case, because um, by and large, well, actually, completely. That's one of the ideas of the school. All the students who are here want to be here. Get this on tape because you're witnessing quite a moment here in watershed history. We are experimenting with a concept that is at the heart of U.S. history, which is the tyranny of the majority. <laughs> Clearly, the majority has, you know, taken control. So, who am I to stand in its way? We're also studying the Patriot Act today. That's really why we came downtown. Oh, well. <laughs> I can't pick it up. I'll get it. <laughs> I have something even better. <laughs> this would cost a lot more. Don't damage the workbook. You can't damage the workbook. I, I won't do it. So, if you see an avenue sitting all by itself, weeping and crying, think, oh, this must be explaining the means, the instrument by which. Alright, Isaac, let's say that you made that scarf. Yeah. How much would you sell that scarf to us for? How much would you got? Wrong. Joey and Freddie's love. You know, if Freddie's love goes up, then the total love goes up. So it's just, you know, it's just it's silly, but it's just, that the way I think, I want you to get in the habit of this is like, oh, these things are linked. There's a relationship here. All right, our, we thought that we would put our first town, so you can move on to the house, right there <laughs> on the Missouri River, because it would have access to just uh, going down the river by boat and then you'd end up right at where St. Louis is now. And then that's all, all over here is the U.S. state. So 
you can have access to the original states by going down this river so there's possible trade and travel there. Hey, this is Jay and I'm going to give you a tour of Watershed School. Here is the Sunshine Room, aka is known as the Journalism Room, um, Western Civ Room, and you know, many other classes. Here is the Ketchup and Mustard Room, where lunch is held and also classes, and this is where the fun takes place, and breakfast. And here is the corridor where everyone sits before class, it's uh, the early. Here is the Watermelon Room, where observation in physics and geometry is held, and other classes as well. It's kind of pink and green. We're doing some redecorating here. Here is the, um, what room is this again? The uh, computer room, where everyone does their research and math. And uh, that's our small school. So the all-school meeting is formatted as follows. Um, the entire school, students, faculty, and board members if they're around, um, gets together and sits in a big circle in the, uh, I guess you guys call it the sunshine room now, don't you? Um, and everyone has equal voice in the process. And there's usually a student moderator or two student co-moderators who run the or actually we call them facilitators and who kind of run the meeting to some extent just kind of make sure it stays on track and keep things directed and bring up the topics which have been picked and brought up by members of the community independently over the weeks before. Um, and the proposal will be brought up, you know, proposed that eggplants be banned from this room on the following week of November the 11th, uh, or something. And uh, then the feather, which was found on the canoe trip actually the very first year by board member and friend of the school, Barbara Fiore, uh, and given to us kindly. Oh. It's an osprey feather. And that was, uh, that is the talking feather and only the person with the feather can talk. The feather goes around the circle once and everybody in the circle gets a chance to say their initial reaction and or opinion to the, to the proposal while not playing off of each other's um, opinions yet um, and you can pass if you like and uh, then after that initial go around if it looks like there's already some sort of consensus all the decisions are based off of a consensus model then we'll go for a thumbs test whereas a thumbs up means I love this and I will support it thumbs sideway means I'm kind of neutral on this I'm not huge on it but I can support it anyways and I can go along with it um, and that means both inside the room and in action outside of the room. And then thumbs down means, no, I really think this is a problem and not good for the school and I can't support it in any way. And if there are any thumbs down, then that proposal has to be brought back the next week um, and, and does not pass then. Um, the process does make for a lengthy procedure um, at times for what seem to be simple topics. However, I think in the long run it's really an important uh, kind of buffer so that things, decisions aren't made rashly uh, and the entire school gets to voice their opinion on it before it becomes law. Well, the future of the school is um, very exciting. I, I think the school, this is an important year. To, to set the stage for whatever's coming next for recruiting students and, and hopefully growing up to, to a bigger and more stable um, size.